Good morning. I'm Claudia. This is my Wonderless Camino. Today is uh, Friday, October 6th, day 21 on the Camino de Santiago. I'm just outside the Parador. It is 12 degrees. Uh, it's almost 8 o'clock. I know, very late start. I took advantage of the breakfast and I'm going to walk with uh, Suzanne. Marenka and Dasha and they only have a short day today so it's a long day for me 31 kilometers but I would rather walk with them for a bit <clears throat> than start off early by myself um, yeah so it is did I say it's 12 degrees it's going to get up to a high of 29 today so I might be walking in the Sun um, Leon is waking up. Today is not a holiday. And I think I see the girls coming. Yeah, they're taking pictures of the paragon. <laughs> All right, uh, talk to you later. Got some more of the dance. Quite a few on this side. Met up with everyone. <laughs> this is where we're gonna part ways. There's the alternative, which they're calling the Green Road, which goes this way, and here is the original Camino Road which goes to Hospital de Obrigo. So, I just said goodbye. They're going the green way. I'm gonna go this way to Hospital de Obrigo. Um, they have more time. They don't need to... Suzanne, I think, took eight weeks off and Dasha doesn't have to be back by a certain date. Um, Marenka, I think, has eight weeks too. So they have shorter days planned. And um, they're taking the green route. I'm going to start having longer days. So this was our goodbye. Here we have the split in uh, La Virgen del Camino. So you can go this way, which is the green route. Um, it would add about three and a half kilometers more, and they're only going to here. So I'd have to walk all of this by myself, and there's no shade and no towns. Um, as opposed to here, it's only, tw well, it's just 20 kilometers to a hospital. Um, I thought I had more than that, but I have, um, I have one, two, three, four towns. So. Saying goodbye is um, kind of hard because you've spent so much time together, you know, <laughs> sleeping in the same rooms and walking together for six, seven hours a day and having conversations that you sometimes don't have with the people at home or with your friends. You know, sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than it is to talk to your friends or, you know, your partner. Um, yeah. You've been hungry together. You've been cranky together. You've cleaned shit off each other. Uh... You've kept watch out for each other. Uh, so you formed that bond that, you know, and now, now we had to say goodbye and that was really hard. Uh, looks like I'm going the wrong way. The arrow definitely pointed this way. No, it's right. 
Uh, so, but because they have more time, I have to be in Santiago on the 16th. I only have 10 days left. I don't really have a choice if I want to walk the whole way, which I do. Um, I don't really have a lot of wiggle room for my dates. Uh, so, yeah. Today was, this morning was hard. And I think today is going to be hard. We just passed the 300. 300! Woohoo! It's crazy to think about that. It's crazy. We have 300 left. That means I've walked 500. That's crazy, crazy. So we've been along the one, the N120, pretty much since Burgos, and today to Hospital de Obrico, it is again same thing beside the N120 with this gravel path. Uh, we do have a bit of shade, and walking through some towns, the alternative route which they are calling the green route, has no shade. And I think there was only one town in between. Um, yeah, so you pick what, you know. And uh, the alternative route adds three and a half kilometers. And I think that was added after, uh, I guess to take pilgrims away from the road. Using, do I go down there or do I walk along the road? There was a pilgrim ahead of me. And he went down. This. Down we go. It is 12.40 almost 19 kilometers walked. Uh, that means probably still another, well, Buen Camino says another 13. <laughs> ah. um, Watson asked me, do you ever get bored walking? It's not bored. It's more like, I think it always happens around this time where you're in, you know you're almost done. And the sun is out, it's hot, there's no shade. Uh, you know you still have two more hours to go and your body is trying to tell you, you know, I think we're done for the day. And you really don't have an option. You just gotta keep going, get it done. So with me, I always try to walk faster and hurry it up. Uh, I don't really wanna stop or you know, I just want to get it done. And also, like, there isn't much to see, as you can tell, walking along the N120. So I'm not really missing anything by walking faster. Uh, yeah. So, not bored. And I actually haven't listened to any podcasts, listened to music. 
usually around this time just to help me get through it the last two hours where like your feet are tired your legs are tired your body's tired yeah so just trying to get it done Of me wishes I could cool off in that. The water looks so clean and it's pretty hot out. No shade. Look. Okay, guys. I just took about, I think, maybe a half hour break. A, a very nice albergue. I didn't get the name, but it's just at the entrance of San Martin del Camino. Um, sorry, lots of traffic here. Very busy road. Uh, so I have maybe seven kilometers, eight kilometers left. It's 2:10. Uh, I. My left knee started to bother me now. My right knee is okay. I taped it up this morning and I was wearing the brace on my right knee and then my left knee has been bothering me all morning. So I didn't have enough KT tape to tape it up properly, but I used whatever I had and I switched my knee brace from my right knee to my left knee now. Uh, hoping that's gonna fix the issue. It's not the same issue I'm having on my right knee. Uh, not the same pain. I also took an ibuprofen. Um, so, yeah. Uh, just waiting for the truck. I ended up getting a Coke Zero and you get a little tapas with it. So it was little strips of calamari and that cost two ten. dollars not bad. Uh, and I finished the two yogurts I had from this morning. So I had that, feeling pretty good now. Uh, energized, ready to take care of these last eight kilometers, which usually at home takes me an hour and a half. So, what did I say it was? Two, it's 2.13. Maybe I'll be there at 3.30. I'll be really happy. Uh, there were a few other people there taking a break as well. And they're all going to Hospital de Obrigo. Um, so, I won't be the last to arrive. But there's lots of albergues. I'm having my fingers crossed that... Uh, I won't get an upper bunk bed, but at this time, I might be, you know, I might have to take the upper. We'll see. Okay, chat soon. This feels like the hottest day yet. It says it's 28. <laughs> It just feels so hot. Um, there's just absolutely no shade. Since we left uh, San Martin de la Camino, it's three o'clock. Like it's so hot. And there's no breeze whatsoever. Nothing. Um, I believe, did I say I have three kilometers left? I have three kilometers left. Yeah. Almost there. Three kilometers. Probably half hour I'll be there at 30. I'm here. Hospital de Oro. 
be gone. <sighs> Let's hope my hostel isn't too far away. It's 3.33. 3.33. Thirty kilometers and a half. Six hours and forty minutes. Yay! We made it. Little Sea Rod made it. Okay. Now I gotta find my hostel, check in, take a shower, wash my clothes, and then figure out what I'm doing for dinner. I'm not too tired, I'll come out here at night. It must be really pretty when it's all illuminated. Or when you stay in the town before and then you walk in here in the morning, first thing in the morning, it must be pretty. It's a quarter to four. There's no one out here. It is 4.20, but uh, no sun back here, but it's quite warm. I'm hoping they're going to dry. I have another pair of socks. The short should be okay. This is the backyard. Um, so throughout the albergue, it's Albergue San Miguel, he displays uh, artwork that's made by pilgrims. So he has a room. I'll show you in a second, uh, that you can go in and you can paint and then he will display your artwork and the whole albergue is like that. closing for today. Um, today was kind of a hard day. I had to say goodbye to Suzanne, Marenka, and Dasha. That was difficult. I also got a late start because I wanted to walk with them, so that meant that I was in the heat most afternoon. I think I got in at 3.30. Um, for as far as spending, I didn't spend uh, a lot today. I had breakfast at the Parador. And then I had a coffee and two like tiny mini uh, Napoleons at the first stop and my yogurt. So I think that was $2.50. Um, excuse me. And then I had, what else did I have? Oh, I had a diet, uh, no, a Coke Zero. And she gave me uh, the squid, uh, the breaded calamari. That was like a pincho that you get when you order a drink. Uh, so that was $2.10. Um, to stay at the albergue is 12 
did my laundry so I didn't spend money for that and for dinner I went and got some spaghetti I bought some beef and some tomato sauce and I made uh, pasta I made pasta bolognese uh, I think I spent six dollars I don't even think it was that much there's a big pot of sauce and pasta and some people are coming in and they're eating it so that was all uh, so what is that just less than 25 bucks 25 euros today okay tomorrow is a short day tomorrow I'm only doing 15 and a half uh, I am going to have breakfast here which is four euros which I already paid for. So let's say today I spent 25 euros. So tomorrow I'll have breakfast here, probably leave around seven-ish. Uh, 15 kilometers shouldn't take me longer than two and a half hours. Um, and then I'll be in Astorga. Um, they have a chocolate factory, they have the Gaudi Museum and um, a church. So I'll check out those things. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for today. Um, today, when I checked in to my albergue, mm -hmm. um, he told me that it was the hottest October, I mean, September, oh yeah, October 6th on record. And it was like summer temperatures. So, yes. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.